Hi, this is Daniel Scribner here with a quick preview of the next episode of our Outlier Investor Series, which comes out tomorrow. In it, I'm joined again by Robert Cantwell, founder of Upholdings and portfolio manager of Compound Kings, which is an exchange-traded fund that focuses exclusively on investing in compounders. I had Robert Cantwell on last year in episode number 23, where he joined me shortly after launching Compound Kings in late 2021. This is an incredible interview with a true pioneer in the actively managed ETF space. In tomorrow's episode, we look back at the top three positions in Compound Kings when Robert and I sat down in early 2021 to review the performance of Alibaba, Meta, then Facebook, and Berkshire Hathaway. Robert shares his perspectives on how the actively managed ETF market is shaping up and why mutual funds continue to hold a lot of assets. We talk about the rise of thematic funds and where they can go wrong. Robert shares the three biggest lessons he's learned over the last 18 months, including why you always have to be learning new industries, why you should add a quant to your investment team, and why knowing the people running public companies matters. Robert walks through his team's theses on the three largest positions in the fund now, which include Meta, ServiceNow, and Adyen. This was fantastic, so skip ahead and don't miss it if you're short on time tomorrow. And Robert shares what it's like to build an ETF business, scale assets under management, and why running an investment business is very similar to an enterprise software business. This is an incredible conversation you won't want to miss. Here's one of my favorite moments from it. Tune in tomorrow to listen to the full episode. When you're talking with people, and this could be financial advisors, this could be uh, you know wholesalers, uh, this could be individual investors, like on public.com, about compounding and compounders, do you feel like you have to explain and kind of take people from zero to one on what that is, or is there short a shorthand way with which you kind of get people to understand what a compounder is, or is that knowledge kind of kind of there? I'd say it's half and half. So half the time we don't. They understand they've read Buffett or they've read you know some other investment materials. And the other half of the circumstances where we do have to talk about it can get confused with compound interest. And they think we're selling a, a dividend fund or something of that nature. And in those cases, what we've found as the simplest way of describing the types of companies that we seek is pursuing the longest duration businesses possible. So what is it about the characteristics of the business that are going to allow it to survive market cycles, even if it has somewhat volatile cash flow characteristics throughout those periods? And we found that that duration component is something that's really interesting to a lot of folks because companies come in and out of the S&P 500 all the time. Companies come in and out of other funds. And the idea of holding this set of securities that has a better chance of surviving a decade or two decades is something that they've found to be uh, an interesting angle.